Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. That was the first pally we queued into all day. I almost outmanned him, but look at that. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical Tate. I am bringing you a hopefully short little guide on how to use the new manatee in 10.1.7. I played about 70, 80 arena games yesterday, so I feel like I kind of know what had the best way to use it. But for sure, if anyone's using it in any different way, please let me know been out for a day so i'm sure there's gonna be other types of innovation for it but i'm just gonna show you how i've been using it and finally beating holy pallies on mana yes you did hear me right i am beating holy pallies on mana actually they are the ones going for the drink against me which feels freaking amazing but first let me go over very quickly the new manatee if you don't know manatee got reworked i have a full in-depth video and overview right i'll put it in one of the corners if you want to see you know in depth new talents and new manatee but pretty much when you use twenty five thousand mana you get a stack of manatee when you channel and consume a stack of manatee you get a buff that reduces the mana cost of your spells by 50 percent for each uh, for one second for each stack so if you consume five stacks you get a five second buff that makes it so your mana the mana on your spells is reduced by 50 percent um there's two talents new two new talents there's energizing brew and life cycles i heavily recommend playing life cycles i think it is much much better than energizing brew um i tried both i played around with both not a fan of of energizing brew the you get stacks way too slow life cycles is a bit more is obviously a bit more rng because it's not guaranteed that you're going to get a buff but because uh, I think it's 20% for each, but overall you get stacks way faster. And this is also the talent build I've been using in Arena. Again, highly recommend it playing Verse Mastery. I think you want roughly about 15% haste. I have 18% haste, 133% mastery, but I think you can even, I can lower that to like 15% haste and go a little bit higher mastery, but definitely go for Verse Mastery with about 15% haste. All right, so how am I using Manatee and Arena to beat those Holy Pallies? Let me show you. First of all, it's very important to remember that when you use Manatee, when you consume stacks of Manatee, you're going to get a buff that reduces the mana cost on your spells by 50%. So if I use it, boom, I get a buff right here that reduces my the cost of my spells by 50%. And that's the secret to conserving your mana and to this manatee build so the stacks are great because you're going to generate mana which is which of course is perfect but that's not what's going to help you conserve your mana it's going to be utilizing that buff so what i've been doing actually let me get rid of these 20 stacks what i've been doing in arena is this i've been getting you know doing my normal rotation right i've just been um healing i'm getting some stacks and then the other team is going to use some kind of cooldown Right, they're gonna use for playing against a Windwalker. They're gonna use their Serenity or something. They're gonna use, you know, combustion if they're fire mage or whatever. I get to about four to six stacks is kind of the sweet spot that I found. I actually I've been consuming about four stacks. I think on average I consume four stacks at a time. Four to six is what I recommend. And what I do is I, you know, I can I get my mana T, I use it, and then I use it with Thunder Focus, the Enveloping Mist, because I use the I have the mana buff that reduces the mana cost on my spells by 50% and then Thunder Focus Team Enveloping Mist is there. And that's what I use if there's kicks available. So if there are kicks available, I'll use my mana T, get the get the buff that reduces the mana cost of my spells by 50%. I think go for Thunder Focus Team Enveloping Mist. Now if there if there are no kicks available, it's even it it it's it's even crazier. Like believe it or not, it's freaking insane. Let me show you let me show you how low of a mana cost you can get enveloping mist. So enveloping mist costs twelve thousand mana, yeah. Enveloping Mist costs 12,000 mana. Let me get, so again, I'm just healing a normal arena, right? Let me get my statue down. I'm just healing a normal arena. Someone's maybe going to use a cooldown. Maybe maybe I just left crowd control and someone's low, right? Like someone's CC'd right now and someone's low. So I'll go for a little manatee here. I've got a few stacks. I'll go for Thunder Focus E, Vivify, Vivify, Enveloping Mist. And my Enveloping Mist costs 2,400 mana. <laughs> 2,400 mana. 2,400 mana. Because you're stacking the manatee buff, 50% mana reduction, with your clouded focus buff. Because again, those those two buffs stack the mana reduction on your clouded focus stacks with the manatee. So you get <laughs> it's it's actually crazy. And you know what's you know what's even crazier is you can go lower. Let me show you. Let me show you how you can go lower. So you're gonna do this when you have Yulon available, which again, Yulon reduces the mana cost on your enveloping mist by 50%. So <laughs> let's keep that in mind. It's crazy. Plus, you're gonna have 50% with manatee. Plus, you're gonna have cloud of focus. So this is what this is what I've been doing when like 
Yulon's active. I get about eight stacks is usually, I honestly, I don't even think I've ever used eight stacks in a row. But what I would do is sometimes I'll Yulon first, but you'll kind of waste, you don't want to waste the manatee buff. You're either going to waste the manatee or Yulon. So I'm going to, I Yulon first, then I manatee. I get a few stacks and then I soothe the myth, thunder focus, see vivify, vivify into an enveloping mist. And it costs 1200 mana. That enveloping mist costs 1200 mana because you're stacking all of your mana reduction spells, all of your buffs, your cloud of focus, your Yulon and your manatee buff. And <laughs> you're reducing it from 12,000 mana to 1200. And again, you can do the same thing when there are kicks available. You can go for manatee, right? Yulon, thunder focus, the enveloping mist. And that, you know, you still get a ton of mana reduction. You just don't get the cloud of focus, you know, healing buff and mana reduction. But that's fine. If there's kicks available, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Just a little TLDR for anyone that just wants to straight to it and just wants to know the rotation. Pretty much using your Renewing Mist, of course. You're going to get to about five, six stacks, four to six stacks of Manatee. That way you can consume it and get the 50% Manatee buff. And then as soon as you're done conserving it or using it, you use your Yulon and Velpy Mist with Thunder Focus T, or if you can heal without getting interrupted, you could build up your stacks of Cloud Focus, and then use Enveloping Mist, it still costs like 2,400, and then with the Manatee buff, it'll be 1,200. And that is pretty much it. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. If you're using it in a different way, please let me know as well. I'm more than happy to try anything out. I would love to see some innovation about Manatee. I'm very excited about this change, and I will send you over to one video against the Holy Pally where I believe I out mana the holy pally, which is absolutely crazy. So that's pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later. I grip blindness. I have to have I'd blind this serenity. Forgot. I got a spank for this. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Good, 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 good. Incapped. AMSS. Full clone on me. That's fine. This. Bear, bark. Ananus, 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 okay. this is Incarn, Incarn. Yo, I'm gonna leave to you in a second, Miskul. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Could have full clone, maybe? Yep. Hodge? I'm um, clone full. Clone full. No outs. I'm kind, I'm kind, I'm kind. I'm kind. Okay. Death striking. Yeah, I got you. I got full clone on this man. I'm um, in capped. All right, I got Omega down here. Revival here. Nice kick. Triple sweep here. On the monk, on the monk, on the yeah, monk. Yeah, he carmed, he carmed, he carmed. Yeah, go through this. I got a cocoon. Back on the, back on the druid. Okay. I uh, clone druid, okay. Yeah, I'm looking at Paladin, dude. He has nothing. No bubble, okay. nothing. Yeah, hit him, hit him, hit him. Okay. Do you have a stun? Uh, I no, do I here in like a few seconds. I do now. He can't get off. I'll I'll I'm in cap. 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 I'm in cap.